Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Averita Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding second highest salary. I have already solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard level questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist I will put down in the description box below if you want to check it out. I have already solved this question using SQL as well. The link of that will be in the description box below as well. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in multiple number of companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Oracle, Yahoo, Amdocs, Google, Infosys, Bloomberg, right? McKinsey, Accenture, Apple and whatnot, right? Okay. Also, if you don't have LeetCode Premium subscription, do not worry. I will share this Panda schema in the description box below so that if you want to try it on your own, say in Jupyter Notebook, you can just copy paste it here and do the coding by yourself. So you don't need LeetCode Premium subscription for this entire series. Okay. Let's jump right in. So the question reads, we are given a table called employee with two different I columns, ID and salary, and these are their data type. ID is the primary key column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the salary of an employee. Write a solution to find the second highest salary from the employee table. If there is no second highest salary, return null using SQL code and return none in pandas. The result format is in the following example. Uh, okay, so let's go through this example. So we are given an employee table, three different entries, ID one, two, three. These are non-null unique values because this is primary key, right? And the salary is associated. And obviously the second highest salary is, highest is 300, second highest is 200, right? So that is what you have. If in case there is no second highest salary, right? So this is the highest salary. There is nothing called second highest in this, right? So you return null if you are using SQL and none if you are using pandas or python right okay so here we are writing the solution in a form of a function right so the name of the function is second highest salary with one parameter employee is going as a pandas data frame and output should be a pandas data frame okay so let's do the first thing is in this employee table right whatever we have let's create a third column called rank and rank the salaries from descending order right so 300 is going to be ranked 1 200 rank 2 100 rank 1 and so on so let's form a column called rank right so employee then make a column called rank which is going to be basically take the salary column of the employee table right or employee data frame right so employee dot sal employee salary and use the dot rank method to rank now how are how you are going to rank it so what is the method dense ranking right dense ranking why we are doing dense ranking think of think of this as example right so here you have 100 200 and 300 right so if you start ranking in descending order this is going to be rank one this is going to be rank two this is going to be rank three suppose in this right you have another row where id is equal to four and salary again is 300 right so now once you rank so the uh, ids four and three they are going to be ranked one if you don't use the dense function then it will skip it right so this 200 is going to be ranked three or something else right so basically if there is a tie so it will skip it we don't want it because if you you know skip the rank then you cannot get the second rank right so for example i just mentioned so 400 300 it would be ranked one one and then 200 would be ranked let's say three so how can you go and find out the second highest salary, right? It will become arbitrary in this, in that case. So dense will be, so even if you have a multiple ties, the next group will be ranked the next value, right? So even if you have five 300s here, the next one will be ranked two, right? So this 200 will be ranked two. So that is why dense, and it should be from highest to lowest, right? So ascending, ascending is equal to false, okay? let me return this right so this is not complete yet so it will show you a wrong answer but like don't care about that let's return what do we have here right okay so if you look at it right so our output is salary 300 is ranked 1 200 is ranked 2 and 100 is ranked 3 right okay now what do we need to do is we are only concerned about rank is equal to 2 so 
let's form another right so let's form a data frame called second which is basically created using boolean indexing right so you take the employee data frame and then pass the true false value that is employee take the rank column which should be equal to equal to two right so it will say okay equal to equal to two it will only keep this particular row in this case right so now if i you know let me do return this data frame second right let me again run this still not complete so it will say wrong answer but let's see what do we have okay so now once we have this then what do we need to do is then we need to make make sure that we return a pandas data frame as an output right the name of the column is going to be second high salary and the value should be like if you have a value then you return that value that salary value if you don't have that then you return none right since we are using python so let's create that right so return pandas dot data frame right pandas dot data frame then let's provide the dictionary right so where the first value or the key should be the name of the column which is going to be second highest salary right and then it should take okay so it should take if you know the length of, so obviously if you are having a you know a second highest salary then you are going to have one or more than one rows how can you have more than one row if 200 was let's say more than once right so all those rows will be populated because we are ranking as a dense method right so if basically your you know length of this data frame is equal to zero that means you don't have a second highest salary and in that case you return none so none if length of right length of this second data frame is equal to equal to zero else what do you need to do is you need to take the second data frame salary column and return the first value right return the first value because even if you have multiple rows right if you even if you have a second highest salary and have multiple rows just take the first one right because anyway you know all those rows will be having the same salary right second highest so salary is going to remain the same right so that is why we are taking the first one right okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here now so now this is accepted right so our output is same as expected output okay now let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases or not oh this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes somewhat tricky question right the first thing that we had to do was you know make a rank column to basically rank the salaries from highest to lowest then we made a, a data frame called second where we are only keeping the second highest salaries and then since the requirement of this question is to output a pandas data frame with the name of the column second highest salary and it should satisfy two conditions if there is no second highest salary that means the length of the second data frame that we created is zero then you return none if there is something present then you return the second highest salary right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video